looking for the volunteers. They're not on this excavation site. Hopefully we'll find them. So you came all the way from Switzerland to volunteer. That's right. Wow. Great experience. You're on the you're on the largest pyramid in the world. How does it feel? And the oldest. Fabulous. You're part of historical. Single-handedly excavating the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. <laughs> With the help of your friends. Yeah. Oh yeah. Suddenly it got hot. Who would have thought? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can see I've still got two layers. Yes. I'm going to have to ask if my bum looked big in this. <laughs> <laughs> Not compared to the pyramid. Nothing Nothing looks big. Nothing can hide it. Malo, as they say in Bosnia, mm. little by little. I find a secret entrance here. Oh, is there an entrance between the concrete uh, pieces? So, very interesting. Yeah, I'm sure it's, it's a lost, lost tunnel. Mm -hmm. Tunnel. The lost one entrance. That yes. <laughs> And is that your friend in the white shirt down there? She's from Switzerland yes. too. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Michelle. Michelle. And she's Susie. Well, it's nice to meet you. Thanks for volunteering for Archaeological Park Foundation. <laughs> Very rewarding work. Ah, oh, good. Hello. Hello. You're still here. Yeah. Again. Because you love doing love this so much. Uh, I love work and help uh, for the foundation. Dobro, dobro. Let's continue. What's your name? Mary Sophie. And where are you from? France. France. Here we can speak uh, normally. Nobody say you are crazy or something like that. It's really okay. nice. This one's heavy, sorry. So in France, if you talk about the Bosnian pyramids, do they look at you strange? What? What pyramid? No, just in Egypt or something like that. I don't believe. And, uh, so I, I try to explain and uh, watch uh, or show some picture. And uh, it works. Some somebody uh, say okay, I want to visit and uh, visit with me and uh, yeah, it works. Mm. It's good. <laughs> and it's good for met some new friends all over the world <laughs> for my next travel. <laughs> Your nails later, huh? On, on what they are. Yes. Yeah. 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 What's your specialty in archaeology? I was studying Egyptology. Specialized in pyramids and ancient uh, old um, kingdom. And so did you come here uh, as a volunteer? 
Yes. Oh. I was studying these pyramids through uh, all possible information through internet and books for last year. And then I got a call and I have to come and help. Because next month I'm going to Egypt for one month and I'm yes. going to join my research there. So we're going to actually compare these two places together. Have you been to the Egyptian pyramids? Not never before. Only thing is if you don't have money in Poland, you can't go because the university is not paying for you, you have to pay for yourself. Well, we are told by a professor you have to be a genius to go. And there's only one genius per year. It's an official title, a genius, a genius, like a genius yes, fellowship. A genius fellowship, exactly. Well, as an Egyptologist or as someone studying Egypt and the pyramids there, how come you came to Bosnia first? Well, as I said, there's a call. You know, we have all life purpose, and uh, the life purpose is to follow the path. And my path brought me here. I'm using crystal technology, which is, uh, you know, all the crystals we have on the planet. I'm just checking how they work in different environments, in different pyramids, in different temples. And recently I spent time in, uh, in Thailand and in uh, Malaysia. And I went uh, to a few temples, few ruins, ancient cities, and uh, applying this as well, because they're completely different civilization, but they were at the same time for me. It's all happened literally around 20, 000, in, in between 20,000 years. So um, they're very similar, it's huge similarities. For example, here in Bosnia, um, the guys found this foot. The foot, if you go to any St stone foot, stone foot. Yeah. If, if you go to any pyramid in, uh, sorry, in any uh, temple in, uh, for example, Thailand, you see the foot is exactly like the Buddha foot. It, there's no difference. The carbon dating is the only thing we have at the moment because we don't have another technology, and it's actually very good with dating stuff which is organic uh, material in it. But when there's no organic material in it, we're not able to date it. We have to actually come back to a really ancient um, script, which is like um, Vedic scripts. This describes very well everything, and this is like kind of spiritual. So we're laughing, we call it the spiritual archaeology now, because without connecting these two things together, we'll be never ever able to find the truth. Like the orbs in the tunnels, they're fantastic, they literally, I can see them. Which tunnels are these? In the tunnels of uh, Ravne. Here in Bosnia? In Bosnia, yes. So there's like tens of them around me. And the Ligtri, I have a proof, which I'm going to talk to um, some year about, about the uh, one picture I was taking is perfectly catching the Orion belt. My intention when I went there, without even meditation, just stand, I stood there and I asked, where you come from? Or, I took the picture and on the picture it shows Orion belt, exactly three balls in the same uh, in the same line and then I last night what I've done I've checked it with the Orion belt in the sky uh, with the alignment and it was perfect there is no even one millimeter difference so they literally want to communicate to us but we're not pure light and love yet so that vibration because everything is vibrational that frequency we can't actually be together with them so they can pass the knowledge they have about this place and this tunnels to us well, the um, calibrated radiocarbon dating for the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun is 34,000 years. But that's a minimum. Exactly. So you're a dating um, of much longer ago in, in the past, which was, you said it was... I think it's minimum, uh, the information I have, which is proof, proof, the physical proof, is 100,000 years. For all the pyramids? All the pyramids around the world, but yeah. I think they're much older. They could be even to up to one million years older. There is one geologist, I don't remember his name, he did uh, uh, research in, uh, in Egypt, in Giza, and he found the proof that the pyramids were there one million years ago. But it's only one person now talking about that, so literally it didn't come to the you know, bright light of archaeology. Well, we have um, the rainwater erosion on the Sphinx, which Rene Schwaller de Lubitz found um, before Robert Schott came on the scene. And so we know that the Sphinx in, on the Giza Plateau had been in a rainforest for thousands of years, and it may be it had been in a rainforest for tens of thousands of years. That's true. That's true. The information I, I have, I would like to share with everyone. So. Well, it's nice that you have this perspective of having studied the Egyptian pyramids and other pyramids around the world, and mm. then you come to Bosnia and you have 
all this learning, and that's exactly what mm -hmm. Semir did. He studied many, many pyramids and wrote many books before for finding this. Mm -hmm. So it's great to have this uh, sort of more general knowledge perspective of pyramids around the world. Yes, That definitely. you can bring. And, and d does this concrete look similar to other concrete on other pyramids, or is this sort of a unique structure? Um, from my knowledge at the moment, I haven't read about any other concrete. Maybe in South America somewhere, but it was a long time ago. But recently, this is the only concrete I know about, and the way they build it is just fantastic. Um, Dr. Sue Jones, Jones from uh, Great Britain, she actually came with this fantastic idea about how they connect it without any liquid, all the structure together. They using a crystal quartz it's technology which we knew but we forgot about it completely on top of of the uh, material loose material with mix uh, mix um, stones crystals uh, limestone everything mixed together they just compressed by sun through the quartz crystal and they, they did it five times in a higher theory so i think it's brilliant because it makes sense to, to make the concrete hard to make it mean. Con concrete yeah. hard so the water can't go through. It's only 1% of uh, penetration by water, when normal concrete has got 3%. So that's why it's so hard, it's not cracking. Right, so the water does not get in it quite as much as modern concrete, exactly. and then it doesn't freeze in the winter. Exactly. And so it just stays here and... And, and, it, and then your tools, I noticed your, the, the tools are sort of ringing against the concrete because it's so hard. Yes. It's not like it's crumbling away no, as you're working no. on it. Yeah, it's literally uh, the pumping off. Bang, bang. So I'm trying to find the way, the quickest way to remove the debris from the top because it's the first day outside we're working. We're working in the tunnels for the last four days. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Tell us your name again. Uh, my name is Tomasz Lerewski. And where did you study? The University of Warsaw, Egyptology. Thank you so much for volunteering. It's really wonderful That's to a pleasure. have you. Fantastic atmosphere, energy. That's good. <laughs> Have you been in the tunnels? Yes, for three days. What did you think about working in the tunnels? I was very nervous at the beginning because I'm a little bit claustrophobic and I wasn't at all once in it. It just felt good. So you never really felt no, fearful in the no tunnels? No fears, no, no nervousness. Uh, it was fine. Can I ask you where you're from? Ukraine. Ah, oh, Ukraine. The best way to do the work and not get tired is to do different things. Mm. Combine. A little digging, a little carrying, yeah. a little talking. <laughs> and you never get tired. Dobro, dobro. What's your name? Mike. Michael, thank you for uh, volunteering. It's fantastic to have you all the way from Ukraine here in Bosnia. I would like to thank the Foundation for this opportunity. It's a wonderful opportunity to have a good rest for mine. To do some physical work on the outside. Especially with something that is 30,000 years old. Mm -hmm. I hope I will be around when we will find actual entrance. Yes, a new a new, a new tunnel somewhere. Okay. From this layer, maybe you have a meter there. Okay. Nice it try. Will be possible, but it takes some time. <laughs> How do you know it's a No, if you find one, not if you make one. You are. Keep finding forage. What's happening? Did you find a tunnel yet in here? Yeah, it's, mm, it's getting there. We're getting there. Hmm. We can smell the dragon. Peter, oh, right, Peter. right. 
So, you came from, I live in Malta, originally from the Netherlands. And, uh, and you have some megalithic stuff out in Malta, yeah? Yeah, there's lots of it there. And, uh, but it's not that old as what I find here. What's the difference? Um, I think it's about 5,000 years old in Malta, 5, 6,000. And we are talking 20 or more here, so... Well, here you are at the very edge of an excavation where we're trying to get the concrete excavated. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you're at the forefront of the excavation. Mm -hmm. What are you finding here? Uh, well, it's a, a very ancient uh, cement, um, concrete, uh, and it's still holding, you know, it's amazing. Uh, of course, it's shattered a bit through time, probably uh, by shaking of the earth and, and I don't know. Uh, but there has been something here, you know, so yeah, it's amazing. So you're taking away maybe a little over half a meter of soil. Mm -hmm. Well, soil, clay. And some clay. Yeah. And then, then you come to this thing. It's also a kind of a miracle that this layer of clay is covering all this, you know, so. You mean it's a miracle that it hasn't slid down from yeah. the rain or something? Yeah. So, and probably clay was the basis of the, of these stones or of, of these coverings, so. Interesting. Well, I will let you get back to work. You can hear that how hard the concrete is when you hit it with the with the stone with the uh, yeah. with the tool. Yeah. It no, doesn't. trying to hit not the concrete, but the, 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 the yeah, root. trying to get the root. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's like incredible how how it rings. How does it feel having worked for almost three hours on the pyramid? Do you feel tired? No, not at all. No. Energetic. This is the weird thing about it. Now, yesterday we had this awful work. We were uh, not many, so we had long ways to go to roll these the wheelbarrows. Wheelbarrows in the, and labyrinth. Mm -hmm. in the labyrinth. And okay, we were happy to, to be finished with. But we were not tired. Not, not tired. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is absolutely amazing. Why do you think you weren't tired after running wheelbarrows through the tunnel? Probably it's good. Uh, there is a good energy. In those tunnels, you breathe well. You the air is good. But uh, today we prefer to go outside. It's a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful day. Nice and cool. And we needed some change. Right, so you can either excavate a prehistoric tunnel or a, an ancient pyramid. You know, it's a, Whatever. It's yeah. a good choice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Michelle. Ravenna. As always, the, the volunteers don't want to stop working. She says stop and they just keep going. Yeah. I just love that. No, that, that's fantastic. Look, they're still working. Okay, guys, they, won't won't stop? they won't stop. Um, it's difficult to stop. So empty the buckets and then just uh, yeah. get your stuff. And we're taking the tools back where we pick them up. Oh, no. 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 Oh, no
<laughs> what have you discovered here? Uh, myself. Yeah. It's why I'm here. Discover myself.